Please follow me to your team room. That organ. Every time. We arrived at our team room just in time for an announcement. Due to a multitude of comments, dinner will no longer be based on score. Did the chef come at you with a knife? <clears throat> that is all. Enjoy the rest of the day. He has to think of a better intro and outro action. This is still absurd. The tone signalling the end of the message sounded. That's a pity I really liked the idea. I wonder who complained? Hey, don't look at me. I actually thought it was a good idea. It was useful for encouraging competition. <sighs> Alright, well someone complained about Mr. Bandages here. The mummy's, uh, scores. Only in those that would rather not have the lower quality food. Which was apparently a multitude. They will say it was his fault. Why'd you stop doing that organ? Jesus! I just finished putting my costume on when the tone signalling an announcement played. Perfect timing. Good morning everyone. I hope everyone slept well. I hope everyone has enjoyed the task so far. There was a muffled mumbling sound that I couldn't quite make out. Yes, yes, fine. Everyone's been doing really well, so today is a special treat. It has been brought to my attention that not everyone came here to play my little game, so today will be the first rest day. Rest day. What? Okay. If you wish to go into town or sightseeing, alert one of my staff and they will drive you to your destination. If you choose to remain in the mansion, you will need to stay in costume, but if you go out, feel free to wear whatever you like. The staff will ensure that you are not seen leaving by any other participants. Am I allowed to go with people? Because then it'll be pretty fucking obvious who the person I'm seeing is. I'm presuming my character doesn't know who any of them are, because that would be a bit silly. If I'm suddenly like, oh my god, you're actually this person! Also, your phones will be returned today and collected tonight. Have fun! I put this on for nothing. A bit arrogant, she's assuming we're going out. I might choose to stay in all day, it's what I do in real life. Why wouldn't I in this game? Damn it. And let's role play someone who goes out. Okay, I'll change, retrieve my phone and go sightseeing, this is my holiday after all. Once I was ready, I opened my room door to find a man standing there with my phone in hand. So, how does he make sure that you can get out without being seen? Do you start to put a bag over your head and he guides you? Hmm, probably. Good day, Miss Davidson. He handed me my phone and I shoved it into my pocket to check later. I take it that you want to go out? No, I wanted to stay in the mansion, but this is my new costume. I'm playing someone who's really boring. That's it, I'm role-playing as Kevin McLeod. Done. Ah, oh, that's one. Like, I must remember that 70% of my audience is from, like, but not even that, probably more, is from North America. So that's United States and Canada. So, using English references for stuff, no one's going to have the faintest idea. I should really get up on my uh, American pop culture, be hip with the kids and so on, down with Thatcher. Yes, please. Nearest food place... Cafe known for delicious coffee and beautiful scenery, famous bakery. Hard to tell where people are going to go, if I'm honest. So, Wolfman will probably be at the nearest food place. We probably can guess that much. At a cafe known for delicious coffee and beautiful scenery or famous bakery. Hmm. Got to be one of those two. Alright, we'll save it. What do you mean a week between recording? No idea what you're on about. Uh, let's go to this one first. It sounds like a relaxing place. I could really do with some good food and downtime for the next task. <laughs> that would be brilliant if that was the actual name of the cafe. Probably copyrighted. Right away, Miss Davidson, follow me. He led me into one of the hidden passages and after a ridiculous amount of twists and turns, we emerged at an underground parking bay. <laughs> Is this an actual drawing or is this just a real thing with... No, it can't be. Okay. I kept looking at this sky and going, hmm, is this actually real? And then I looked up here and was like, oh, alright, maybe not. We got into a nondescript car and he dropped me off in front of the cafe, giving me instructions to phone him when I'm done. It was such a beautiful day that I decided to eat outside. Of course you did. I'd just taken a seat when a waitress came over to me to hand me a menu. Why is the music doing this? Why do I feel like my thing's going to be poisoned? I'll be back in a few minutes to take your order. I looked over the menu and was more than ready when the waitress returned. 
I'll have this and this and this with the side of this, this to drink and this for dessert. All right, it'll be ready soon. Is that how much we disrespect the food in the act in like that house? <laughs> as soon as you go to a cafe, we'll be like, oh, thank God, I'll have one of everything. I fiddle with my phone while waiting, noting that I had a few messages from Mira and not much else. I should probably call her soon, maybe when I get back to the mansion. While I was musing over what to say to her, the waitress came over and put a plate in front of me. Wait, this isn't what I ordered? The hell is this? This is not what I ordered. Uh, I guess it must have been a mix-up. I got up to see who had gotten my order. This is the guy. God fucking damn it. I picked the wrong one, didn't I? <sighs> Alright, quick load. I said quick load. That... Quick load doesn't work unless I quick save. That... Oh, God said. Alright, hang on a second, lads. And if by magic... Suddenly here again. Famous bakery. Honestly, I've been wanting to go there since I found out the location of this event. Right away, Miss Davidson, follow me. We got... Yeah, okay, we know all this. And drop me off in front of the bakery, giving me instructions to phone in when I'm done. It doesn't look like a famous bakery. It's called Cafe and Cake. Cafe and Cake. What a horribly nondescript name. I walked into the bakery only to freeze when I saw the sheer amount of people in there. This will take forever. There isn't even any order here. Where's the queue? There isn't one. It's every man for himself first that the front is first served. After saying that, the man barreled into the crowd and was promptly shoved back out. I won't be cowed by such a minor setback. He rushed back into the crowd. Really? A famous bakery? And it's just, oh, well, it'll end up in a fight, whatever. No. <laughs> whatever. Every man for himself, only one thing for it then. I began to push my way through the crowd, determined to get to the front and claim my prize of delicious sweet treats. My determination, however, proved fruitless and I found myself barely making any progress. This isn't working. I can't push my way through, but maybe I eyed the space between people's legs and came to a conclusion. You're not that small. You're not seven. Alright, maybe I can crawl my way through. Probably not. I dropped to my hands and knees and started to crawl, taking care to avoid being trampled by the many feet around me. I was going to say, there are people who aren't going to be able to see what you're doing. You're going to get stamped on. God, I just hope it's not the women with, like, high heels. Oh, that going into your calf is going to... Don't even want to think about it. After a while, I reached the counter and leapt to my feet. Yes, I've done it. I've faced the challenge and come out on top. I've bested. What will it be, ma'am? I'll take that and that and that and... <laughs> that easy. Wow. The staff just don't care. This is what happens when you don't have a manager. I gleefully carried my bag of goodies out to the store and started to look for a nice quiet place to eat them. You are quite determined. I'm impressed. Hey! You're dressed like a cunt. <laughs> oh my god. Aren't you an actor? I... Be honest, did you go... When buying that, did you go into a hat shop and go, right, look, you know what Sherlock Holmes wears? I'd like that, but I'd like a flaccid version, please. <laughs> and what would you like for your jumper, sir? Mm. I'd like it wool, but I'd like it so hideous that people could see it for miles around. Mm. What kind of yellow? Piss yellow, the only kind of yellow. Hang on a minute, sir, I'll be straight with you. Jesus. My eyes, why would you wear something so bright? I like bright colours, I can take it off, if it offends you that much, although I'm not wearing a shirt under. Keep it on! Jeez, what kind of guy just offers to go around shirtless to a random girl? I don't know, maybe someone you already know who is joking around, you stupid dumb fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a mask for god's sake. I'm not ashamed of my body, even if I do eat from this bakery a lot. No you don't. You're way too thin to eat from bakeries a lot. The cakes and pasties are more than my self-restraint can take. They're that good? Better. Are you telling me that you went through that? He gestured to the store. Without knowing how good they are? I know the place is famous, but that doesn't always mean it's that good. Some hole-in-the-wall places have food better than some of the high-quality restaurants. Do they, though? <laughs> really? Oh, 
I never get when people sort of slag off McDonald's like, oh, it's not, no, it's, it's a cheap meal, Jesus. It's like six euros for a burger, chips, and a drink. That is cheaper than you're going to get in a lot of places. Never go there myself, though. <laughs> Too true. So, anyway, I'm going to find somewhere to eat that... You're not from around here, are you? Is it that obvious? Oh, he doesn't recognise who I am either. Jesus. Well, no, but if you were, you'd know that the best place to enjoy these treats is the beach. But what about the sand? There's a rocky area that looks over the beach. It's protected from the wind and sand. I could show you where it is. Okay, then the beach it is. Thanks. You're going with him? Don't get me wrong, you should, because you already know each other and you're daft enough not to realise who people are. Ho, 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 celeb culture, sir, her, so dumb. Ho, ho. But that aside, really? None of you have recognised each other? None of you have gone, oh, God, I swear, Dad, some something? Oh, dear. Right. You can fuck off if you're going to tell me that there's a rock somewhere here. Where's the rocky bit? What's the point? Where is this? The Caribbean? And there's a huge cliff as well. Is that actually where the rocky bit is? Oh yes, it's on the beach and it's covered from wind and sand. Oh, did I not mention it was a mile high? <laughs> Jesus. Oh wow, this place is beautiful. I'm glad that you think so. I sat down on a rock and reached into my bag to grab one of the pastries. Okay, so I'm just going to assume that we scaled this rock face. I took a tentative bite and nearly moaned at the taste. Okay, you were right. These are definitely too good for self-restraint. He let out a chuckle before reaching into his own packet to pull out a pastry. Oh my god, that is... Oh, right, yeah, he needs the pastry. He does, okay. That wasn't a euphemism. <laughs> he wasn't going to get his sausage roll out, if you know what I mean. <sighs> god, the replies to that. No, let's not go there. We spent a good while just eating in silence before a thought occurred to me. How did you know about this place? Hmm? You're from the getaway, right? What gave me away? Your interesting style, the stares you got while we were in town. And here I thought it was my dashingly good looks. No, you didn't. <laughs> wow. That is the biggest cock block in the world. And here I thought it was my good looks. Ha ha! And then just someone stares you down. No. Oh, God. To answer your question, though, this isn't my first time being here. In fact, I could probably make a pretty good tour guide if you want me to show you the sights. We haven't even talked. Uh, do you know the best food places? Yeah, we were just in it. Of course. Then sure. This guy could be anything. I, have you seen how he dresses? That is not... Like the dressing style of someone who is up with the kids and definitely not a rapist. See, he's taking us through the jungle! What is wrong with you? So where are we going first? Don't worry about the destination, enjoy the journey. Take in the scenery. Don't worry about the destination, enjoy the journey. Oh my word. It certainly is beautiful. It really is. Oh, this is quite nice. I haven't stopped. I'll be honest, I really haven't stopped enough just to sort of say how nice the art is. I mean, the sprites are a little bit too generic and sort of Japanese focus on my liking, but I'm a big sucker for water textures and this is actually very nice. I mean, even sort of like the plants, they don't look smudged. They look like they're actually detailed, All right, apart from that bit there, but they look sort of nice. And this bit as well, it looks like a tree. It doesn't look like someone's smudged a potato painting anymore. And like the shadows are very well done. And even the amount of detail to the point where look, someone's gone and swept all like leaves and so on and rocks against here. And there's a little path going up there, which I'll admit doesn't look safe, but <laughs> it does look very nice. I mean, look, you can still see the gate go all around there. And then it goes out of vision because of the bush and then comes out there once the sun hits it again. And still, you can see it there and there. So much detail has gone into this background. I don't know why this background has caught me more than the others, but it's very, very nice. How come we haven't seen anyone else yet? This place is so beautiful, I'd come here all the time if I could. The novelty of this area has worn off for many of the locals, and a lot of the tourists don't even know it exists. That's a shame, but I'm kind of glad. Hmm? If this place was crowded, it wouldn't be quite so serene. I like the untouched feeling of it. 
you'd get bored very quickly. If you came here every day, you'd be sick of it within two weeks. It's a wonderful place to just get away from everything and relax. Is that what we're here to do? For a while. We should get going. Oh, so we just relaxed, apparently. Already? I did say I'd show you some of the best food places, and what better time to do so than lunchtime? Are we going to a pizza place? I'm gonna go to a pizza place. Almost on cue, my stomach growled. I see someone agrees. Oh, god damn it, it's not a pizza place! This just looks like a place where you take shit from the bar. <laughs> so much for going to fancy places, damn it.